Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting exponential equation. We have 3 to the x plus x equal to 11 and we need to find our x. Of course, you can easily pause the video and write a solution down into the comment section and in a few minutes we will check our answers. Okay, so first of all, let's subtract x from both sides. As a result, what do we have? We have 3 to the x on the left side, but on the right side we have 11, 11 minus x. Okay, 11 minus x. So right now we subtracted x from both sides. What are we going to do next? Right now we're going to divide both sides by 3 to the power x. Okay, we're going to divide both sides by 3 uh, to the power x. As a result, on the left side we will have 3 to the x over 3 to the x equal to 11 minus x. We divide it by 3 to the power x. And if you look closely on the left side, we can easily mm, cancel this 3 to the power x. As a result, we have only 1 on the left side. And on the right side, we can easily write this 3 to the x in our numerator. But we need to know one really important property. This all known algebra property. When we have a 1 over m, for example, we can write it as m to the power minus 1. Okay, so when we write it from the numerator to numerator, we need to change the power to the opposite one. Okay, and right now let's do the thing. What I Okay, right here 1 on the left side. On the right side we have 11 minus x, 11 minus x times 3 to the power minus x. Okay, 3 to the power minus minus x. And the final step, let's change position because we prefer our variables on the left side and constant on the right side. So right now let's change position. So this one right in on the left side. So 11 minus x times 3 to the power minus x equal to equal to 1. So this is our first first step. Second step, we need to know a little bit about the thing which is called Lambert W function. This function will help us a lot. So how does it function looks like? For example, we have a, a times e to the power a. We have something like that. And a, it doesn't matter whether we have expression, for example, like we can write it as 2 times e to the power 2. And when we apply Lambert W function to this expression, to this uh, expression, we have only our a. And of course, in this example, we can easily apply Lambert W function. And when we have 2 times e to the power 2, we can write it as s2, of course, with Lambert W function. And right now, let's create this type of expression on the left side. We need to have a, we need to have e, and we need to have a as a power of e. So right now, let's try to look closely. How can we create this type of expression? First of all, let's multiply both sides by 3 to the power 11. Let's look at it. So multiplying both sides by 3 to the power to the power 11. When we multiply both sides by 3 to the power 11, we're going to get the next expression. 11 minus x in the beginning, 11 minus x in the beginning. The next thing, we're going to write this 3 to the power 11. We are multiplying both sides by 3 to the power 11, 3 to the power 11. And of course, times 3 to the power minus x, 3 to the power minus x, and equal to 1 times 3 to the power to the power 11. Okay, so we just multiplying both sides by this 3 to the power 11. So it changed nothing. Right now, let's look closely at this 3 to the power 11 times 3 to the power minus x. We have the same base, but different powers, but moreover, we have multiplication. So when we have a to the power x times a to the power y, we can write it as a to the power x plus y, a to the power x plus, plus y. So we can easily add these powers. As a result, what do we get from here? We have 11 minus x in the beginning. The next thing we have times 3 to the power 11 minus x, 11 minus x equal to 3 to the power 11. Okay, and as I said before, we can, we're going to try to create expression uh, which is great for this Lambert W function. Okay, we have a times e to the power a. And if you look closely, we have, okay, we have 11 minus x and we have the same thing right here, 11 minus x. So it looks like this a and this a, but we need to have e. But right here we have 3. So how can we mm, create e instead of this, instead of this 3? We need to know a really important, a really important property. When we have e to the power natural log a, as a result, this one equal to equal to a. This is all known uh, natural log property. But we need to change this 3 by e. How can we do this? We can write instead of this 3, we can write e to the power natural log natural log 3. This one equal to 3 according to this property. So this 3 right here, let's change by e to the power natural log 3. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have 11 minus x, 11 minus x times, instead of 3, we're going to plug in this one, e to the power natural log 3. So we have e to the power natural log 3, and we're going to raise this, don't forget about this, 11 minus x, 11 minus x equal to 3 to the power to the power 11. Right now, we have a to the power x raised to the power y. We can write it as a to the power x times y, so we need to multiply these both powers. So as a result, we have 
11 minus x. So we have 11 minus x, 11 minus x. And we have times e to the power natural log 3 times 11 minus x. So we can write it as 11 minus x times natural log 3. I prefer this order, 11 minus x times natural log 3 equal to 3 to the power 11. And right now, let's look closely what we have on the left side. Okay, we need to have uh, this uh, expression for Lambert W function, a times e to the power a. Let's look closely what we have. We have 11 minus x, for example, this is our a. But right here we have e also really great, but in this power we have 11 minus x times natural log 3. So the last step is to multiply in both sides by natural log 3, and then we will have the same expression right here. We're going to have e and we're going to have like the same power. So the last step, let's multiply both sides by natural log 3 and everything, everything will be great. So let's do this. So we have 11 minus x, 11 minus x times natural log 3, okay, I'm going to write it right here at this place, times e to the power 11 minus x times natural log 3 equal to 3 to the power 11 times natural log 3. And right now, let's look what do we have right here. We have 11 minus x times natural log 3. We have 11 minus x times natural log 3. This is our a, this is also our a, and we have e. So this is a great expression for applying Lambert W function. We need to have a times e to the power a. So right now, let's apply Lambert W function to our expression. But don't forget about um, left side and right side. So we need to apply it on the left side and on the right side. So we have Lambert W function of this expression. So we have 11 minus x. 11 minus x times natural log 3 times e to the power 11 minus x times natural log 3, natural log 3, and equal to Lambert W function of 3 to the power 11 times natural log natural log 3. Right now, as I said before, we have the same expression right here, we have the same expression right here, so according to Lambert W function definition, we have only our a, but a equal to 11 minus x times natural log 3, so as a result we have 11 minus x times natural log 3 on the left side, and on the right side we have Lambert W function of, of this expression of 3 to the power 11 times natural log 3. 3 to the power 11 times natural log, natural log 3. Okay, right now we need to find our x. Don't forget about it because we need to find x from here. So how can we do this? How can we simplify our expression and how can we find can we find our x? I want to do a few manipulations at this 3 to the power 11. Instead of this uh, 3 to the power 11, I'm going to write 3 squared times 3 to the power 9. So just look at it. So we have 11 minus x on the left side. So I, I don't want to touch this uh, left side. I just want to do some manipulation uh, with this right side. So we have Lambert W function of, I'm going to write it as 3 to the power 2 times right here this natural log 3 natural log 3, and times 3 to the power 9, because we need to have uh, 3 to the power uh, 3 to the power 11. Okay, so we have this, this, uh, this thing. Right now, instead of this 3 to the power 9, I'm going to write the next expression. So we know that 3 we can write as e to the power natural log 3. Okay, so let's do this uh, from the new line. So we have 11 minus x times natural log 3 equal to Lambert W function of 3 square times natural log 3. Instead of this 3, I'm going to write e to the power natural log 3, so times e to the power natural log 3. So this is instead of 3, but don't forget about this 9. So we need to, we need to write this 9 as well. And right now, this we can write as e to the power 9 times natural log 3, okay? So as a result, we have 11 minus x, 11 minus x times natural log 3 equal to Lambert W function. This 3 square we can write as 9, okay? So we have 9 times natural log 3. And right here we can write it as times e to the power 9 times natural log 3. So we have 9 times natural log, natural log 3. And right now, let's look closely at this expression on the right side. We have 9 times natural log 3, we have 9 times natural log 3 at the power, we have e, so this is exactly that case that we need to apply Lambert W function. Of course, we have it right here, and at, uh, as you can see right here, we have only our a according to a definition, so we have only our 9 times natural log 3 on the left side. So we have 11 minus x times natural log 3, equal to 9 times natural log 3, 9 times natural log, natural log 3. And the final tricky move, I like this move really much because we can divide, uh, we can cancel this natural log 3, and from here we have 11 minus x equal to, here we have 9 equal to 9, so from here our x is equal to, 
is equal to 2. And you know, a lot of students might be thinking, might be saying, okay, uh, I can easily solve this question by inspection. Of course, we have not like a complicated uh, question. We have 3 to the power x plus x equal to 11. And you know, a lot of students, of course, a lot of students uh, try to uh, find this root by inspection. And it's not that hard to solve this question by inspection by um, checking 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course, this is about it. But uh, the main thing is try to solve this question, try to learn how can we solve this question correctly. Because when you solve this question like that, when you have your question and you write that x is equal to 2, well, you need to review a little bit your basic math. Because um, to be honest, uh, it's really great when you solve this question completely and step by step. As you can see, we have like more than like 10 lines right here. So it's not that easy. And it's really great for you and for your teacher when you teach your uh, full full solution to this uh, full solution to this question. So I really hope you understand my notes. I really hope you understand my approach. And of course, I um, really hope you understand my solution. So if you still have a question, write a question down into the comment section, write your notes down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Right now we can see a graph. You can see this point of intersection from geometric perspective, which is also really great. I'd like to see this question from another angle, from, from geometry, and I really hope you enjoy it. So this is my explanation to this question. Once more, you can easily pause the video and write your notes, write your, your, write your question, write your assumption down into the comment section. And thank you for your time. Have a great day and see you in the next videos.